wake up and realize that religion is your way to hell. Religion is a ticket to hell. Jesus did not come to bring religion. Jesus came to bring salvation. Now, the pyramid is in the mouth of hell. The throne of Satan is on top of the pyramid, as I explained, it's above. And when you look at a dollar, at a, a dollar bill, one dollar bill, you see a pyramid. And on top of the pyramid is one eye. And that eye is flashing light. And they are trying to tell you that money, money is not just a piece of paper. There is an altar that is built on that money. And everyone who is working so hard to make money is working so hard to build the kingdom of darkness. That's why the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. The ancient Egyptian pharaohs were replicas and manifestations of the priesthood of hell. The children of Israel became slaves of hell because they turned their backs on heaven. They learned the ways of the Egyptians and forget, they forgot the ways of Yahweh. The, the marine kingdom, which is also uh, part of the kingdom of darkness, but it is, it is somehow separated because the marine kingdom influences, uh, it deals more with finances and materialistic things. It deals more with uh, sexual perversion and uh, uh, things to do with immorality and, and witchcraft and voodoo. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, it is mostly effective in places where there are businesses in the water bodies. That's where you see so much immorality at the beach. There is so much immorality, so much evil, you, uh, so much witchcraft. Here in Kenya, if you go to Mombasa, you find you hear of stories of someone taking a, a woman to a lodge and uh, and this woman disappears those uh, hybrid uh, kind of people you know a person stretching their hand and turning off the light when they're in the bed things like that because uh, the marine kingdom is is centered in such places you know seeing what is happening in hollywood seeing the, the grammys seeing the celebrities and wanting to follow suit you know, and not knowing that these people sell their soul to Satan in exchange for money, power, and fame. And it's the same deal that Satan offered to Jesus, and Jesus said no. Satan said, if you'll bow down and worship me, I'll give you money, power, and fame. I'll make you a celebrity like everybody else, like all the other kings of the earth. And Jesus said no. But that same deal has been offered to very many other human beings. And those human beings said yes, and we call them celebrities. I call them traitors. Now, on top of that pyramid, which was incidentally inside of the mouth of a large serpent. So what that, what that, what that structure is, is shaped like, it is shaped like a building. It is a huge colossal building or is a huge person, okay? It's shaped in the shape of a person with the head of, uh, of a serpent, okay? Now the fangs are coming in from the top and the fangs are coming in from the bottom like that. And inside of the mouth is a pyramid. And on top of that pyramid is that throne where he is seated. And now the tongue comes now over the pyramid. It comes down out of the mouth of this serpent and it goes all the way down. You see like the way the tie, my tie is going down. That, 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 that tongue goes all the way down to the feet of this, of this, uh, what is shaped like a man with the head of a serpent, okay? And so, that's, that is this, that is a structure of his building, of his, uh, you see, the same way, even the body of Christ is a body, all right? It's a person. And who is the head? Jesus Christ is the head. And the church is the body of Christ. Well, even in the kingdom of darkness, it is a body, but Satan is the head. The serpent head is a, is, is, is a serpent. And the tongue is the tongue of deception. Through deception, he reigns. He rules this world through deception. That's why anybody who refuses to follow the Lord Jesus Christ will live a life of lies. You'll live a life where you are believing lies, where you are subjected to lies. And at the end of it, you, you will regret because you have been deceived the entire time. This is what Jesus was telling us in Matthew 12, 36. He said, he that is not for me is against me. And he that does not gather with me scatters abroad. In other words, Jesus is telling you, I'm the truth. 
if you don't follow me, you're going to live a life of lies. And everyone you come into contact to, and everyone you deal with will oblige you in one way or another in lies in this life of lies that you've chosen to live they will oblige you in one way or another every human being you come into contact with on that road of lies will oblige you with more lies okay but as soon as you choose to follow the way of truth as soon as you follow the way of Christ you will come into contact with others who are in that life of Christ okay and that entire lifestyle that you're living is a life of truth Okay, and so the life of lies hates the truth because the life of deception, the word of deception, the way of the world of deception seeks to enslave. That's why those who are not in Christ are slaves. Jesus said, he that commits sin is the slave to sin. So you live a life of slavery if you do not subject, if you do not give your life to Christ and follow him and learn his ways because there's many Christians who have just given their life to him and this, you know, they think church attendance is church, is, is Christianity. No, 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 no. So church attendance is not the prerequisite for entry into heaven. The prerequisite is that you must be born again and that you must know him and that he must know you. So there must be a one-on-one -on -one relationship. There should be no brokers, no pastor, evangelist, apostle, teacher, or prophet should be your broker between you and God. There's no other broker. There's just the Lord Jesus Christ connecting you to God that is your connection to God, the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 2.15 says, There is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. So if you have any other broker between you and God, you're in an idolatrous situation. You need to repent and get out from that. Come out from among them and be separate. There are masons who think that Satan or Lucifer is going to give them a kingdom, that he's going to turn this world into uh, a utopia of sorts you know, a paradise. That's lies. He's not going to give you a kingdom. He's going to cast you into the, into the prisons of hell to be tormented by his demons that are innumerable. Mark chapter 9 verse 43, and if your hand offend you, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. All right, that place is real. That place is there. When you come out of that body, you'll realize, when you come out of this physical body, this physical body is just a shell. We all know it's temporary. And you will leave that body one day. And when you leave it, you will remain with the God you served during the days of your life. Proverbs 23, 14, you shall beat him with the rod and shall deliver his soul from hell. This speaks about parents disciplining their children to beat them with a rod and deliver their soul from hell. Again, hell is mentioned. Proverbs 15, 11, Hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? So he's telling you that place called hell, the Lord can see it. That place is before the Lord. How much more the hearts of the children of men? So the Lord gauges the hearts of men. And the way he can tell whether it is good or evil is what you choose to do with your substance.